President Donald Trump is predicting Rep. Maxine Waters' ranting and raving will drive voters from the Democrats and is accusing the lawmaker of being one of the most corrupt people in politics Trump was on a Twitter tier Tuesday morning, writing on a variety of topics from the election to border issues to his Supreme Court nominee But he hit Democrats heavily, particularly Waters, who he has repeatedly gone after ever since she called on the public to assail his administration officials when they see them Crazy Maxine Waters, said by some to be one of the most corrupt people in politics, is rapidly becoming, together with Nancy Pelosi, the face of the Democrat Party Her ranting and raving, even referring to herself as a wounded animal, will make people flee the Democrats, he wrote Trump has sought to make Waters, one of the fiercest critics of his administration, the face of the Democratic Party He attacked her as one of the most corrupt people in politics a likely reference to a 2010 ethics investigation, where Waters was ultimately cleared Eight years ago, the House Ethics Committee charged Waters with three counts of violating House rules and the Federal Ethics Code in connection with her effort to help a bank in which her husband owned stock secure federal bailout funds She was said to have arranged a 2008 meeting between Treasury officials and representatives with one United Bank The Ethics Committee said that, by trying to assist one United, she stood to benefit directly because her husband owned a sizable amount of stock that would have been worthless if the bank failed The committee also accused Waters of violating the spirit of a House rule prohibiting lawmakers from using their positions for financial gain, as well as a government ethics statute banning the dispensing of special favors Share this article Share 18 shares Waters denied any wrongdoing and, in September 2012, the House Ethics Committee completed a report clearing Waters of all ethics charges after nearly three years of investigation The 79-year-old congresswoman, who first took office in 1991, believes Democrats as a whole have engaged in nice guy politics for too long, one of her former aides told Hill newspaper She's definitely pushing people into a place of discomfort, said the former aide, adding that Waters is slowly but surely getting the Democrats to play the game the way Trump plays it The aide noted the longtime Democratic congresswoman is aware that she sometimes pushes the envelope and said that Trump's mimicking of Serge Kovaleski, a New York Times reporter who has a physical disability, during the 2016 campaign that ignited her fire That was the moment that really spurred her to speak out against him, the former staffer said It was a moment that I think snapped her into accepting this is now our reality and accepting her role as an emerging soldier against this administration Democratic leaders have distanced themselves from Waters' call to harass administration figures in public But Waters could wield new power on Capitol Hill next year if Democrats retake control of the House of Representatives in the November election She would become chair of the powerful House Financial Services Committee. Oh, any Democrat on that committee told The Hill that a few members of the panel are worried that Waters' recent remarks about confronting administration officials are a sign that she's itching to lead a crusade against Trump We've got a division because some people are very concerned that she's going to be pushing an ideological agenda, said the lawmaker We can have disagreements on the substance and that's fine. I just want to make sure it doesn't become like a show 
and Waters has acknowledged her enhanced public role as a Trump critic and the dangers that come with it. Over the weekend she warned, would be assassins, that if they intend to target her, they better shoot straight. I know that there are those who are talking about censuring me, talking about kicking me out of Congress, talking about shooting me, talking about hanging me, waters during a rally on Saturday. All I have to say is this, if you shoot me, you better shoot straight, there's nothing like a wounded animal 